Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sins of Tempo Cunny Corso. So, they're here. <laughs> um, basically what happened is that she had two puppies that were trying to come out at the same time. Um, what I believe happened is that probably the exact same thing that happened to Blondie last time, not last time, but the time before, basically she had two puppies... Um, or probably one puppy that died in utero and was blocking the exit. And so she had two puppies that were trying to come out at the same time. And, um, Reese and I were trying to grab the puppy and we could feel the feet and we could feel the tail. And both of us could kind of recognize that the, that the, um, it was way too slippery, um, I think that it was partially decomposing. So, <clears throat> anyway, we took her in for the cesarean. She did fantastic. Um, we have ten live puppies. Now, if you can count, you'll know that this is not ten puppies. Uh, the reason for that is because we've put um, quite a few of them on Nirvana. And that's because Nirvana has excellent milk production. In fact, to be perfectly honest with you, she had one... Um, Tata that was engorged and was at risk of going um, mastitis and luckily since we've got these pups on her they've already um, drained it and so her, her puppies just were they're, they're, they just there are too many easier um, Tatas to go to and they just weren't, weren't expending the energy and so these puppies um these puppies, uh, they did it. They're good. So, <clears throat> um, the vet was, uh, you know, happy that she did well. She didn't tear or anything like that. So she is still intact. So we'll do one more breeding out of her. It'll be a year from now. She will not have to deliver those puppies naturally. We will take her in and do a cesarean the same way that we did with Blondie. And at that point, she will be spayed and she'll be retired. That will literally put her, let's see, um, at four years old because she's three years old now. So it'll literally be just like her mother. She'll have the same amount of litters as her mother. She'll be retired at the same age as her mother, which is four years of age. And as I said, man, I was talking about it during my live stream with Nirvana. The bigger the litters, the shorter the breeding career. That's what I have found. Um, you know, so ideally, you know, I, I would prefer anything between 7 to, to 10, I would say. 10, you're usually okay. Anything over 10, it's typically problematic. Um... It can be fine. I mean, her first litter was 13 and she she whelped them all perfectly fine. But it's just one of those things. You never really know. Um, she's on antibiotics. She's on pain medication. And like I said, all the puppies are good. Um, out of 10 of them, I think five of them are boys. So half and half. Um, so one of them, this real tiny brindle one here is very vocal, um, it's smaller, you know, I, when you have a litter that big, you're always, in my experience, you typically always lose one, um, and we've already lost two, but it's not that, you know, you typically have one that fades, and so I hope that that doesn't happen, but I'm kind of a little concerned about it, so, um, about this little, about that little brindle boy there. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, hopefully he's fine, but I'm just kind of warning people that I've just noticed he's very vocal and, um, cries a whole lot. And even whenever he's eating and stuff like that, he just, he's never happy. And so sometimes that can be a problem and sometimes they're just vocal. <clears throat> so um, other than that, Trinity's doing fantastic. It was very eventless. Um, uneventful, I should say. She didn't have any uterine tears or anything like that, which is really saying something because she was bearing down really hard to try to get those pups out. And, um, and so I was really surprised by that. 
Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, I was really fortunate that my vet was able to get me in, like, literally immediately. It was such a blessing. And what's cool is that I'm going to be moving out to that area. So that vet was, like, 30 minutes away from me. But when I move, that vet will literally be in the same city as me. So I'm just really happy about that. Um, I already know where I'm going to be moving. I don't know the house, but I know the area and I'm really excited about it. It's, it's just looks the same as here. It's only about 30, like I said, 30 minutes away, but it's, <clears throat> um, but it's, um, it's just a different city, a different County, different County, different city. Um, so anyway, I'll take you over and I'll show you the, the puppies that Nirvana has. Okay. You guys. These are, these are the rest of them. Watch out. Um, Nirvana took them immediately. She did not hesitate. In fact, when they were being born, she was like panting and staring. And you could tell that she, she, she thought, she thought that the babies were hers and like already. And she was just like. Why are my babies in there? <laughs> so once, um, whoop. and so once she, um, once she got them, you see, she's cleaning them and they, they're, they're, might as well be her babies as far as she's concerned. And so I've just been moving them over, letting them nurse. And, um, as you can see, her babies are, look at this. Look at her babies compared with these babies. And, um, see that? And her babies are literally only, what, three days older, I think? It's ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna have to monitor that and just make sure that these new ones get food because, see her cleaning that one, that new one? And so I'm just gonna have to make sure that everybody gets fed. See, this is the one that wanted to get mastitis, and they love this one. It's a tiny, it's like a tinier, look at this big old, look at this hoss, dude, look at that. Look at big old hoss. No, you cannot go in there yet. Kisses. Give them the kisses. Look at these big old bears, man. Look at these big old bear cubs. Look at you big old bear cub. What you doing, bear cub? What you doing, bear cub? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> anyway can I help you? you're a good girl thank you for taking these babies thank you for taking them anyway so we'll make sure everybody gets fed I'll probably have to take Nirvana's out not out but I'll probably have to kind of address the feeding situation because hers are just gluttons and they just want to eat 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 all day and not a it's not a problem per se, but, um, but they gotta <clears throat> be willing to share a little bit too. So anyway, so yeah, but, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. I'll probably put some of Trinity's back, but I just, it was important to me that they get to nurse immediately I really wanted them to get food in them immediately, and Trinity just wasn't, um, you know, herself, and so she wouldn't really lay well enough, and her milk is probably not even totally in yet, and so I just wanted these puppies to be able to get something in them, because we had, I had to drive all the way home and everything, and it's, it's a long time for puppies want to nurse immediately. And so I just needed them to get something in them immediately. That was what was really important to me. You are such a chunkster, dude. Like, literally, bro. You are so fat. What? What? Can you go check that puppy, Savannah? I think it's that Brindle one. There's always one in a litter that big that just can't be, can't make them happy. And when that happens, what? Yeah, it's that Brindle one. Can you express it and see if it needs to go potty? Yeah. I know, honey. We'll try that, and if that doesn't work, then we'll know. 
Dude, you are just a chunkster. Come here. I'm going to give this puppy that one just for a little bit. Here. Come here. Take that. Take it. Come on. Take it. I don't know why, but the more you try to move a puppy towards the food, they just fight you. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be that way. Nope. Coordination is not good, my man. Do we get it? I think we got it. No, don't push him off. Because you've eaten. Leave it alone. Stay on it. Okay. <clears throat> this one's skinny, so I want this one to eat for now. Look at that one. So fatty. Just passed out. She. Sorry, she. Look, she's going to try to make her rounds back over. She's like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. She's going to make her way right back over. She smells her mama. She's like, I'm coming. I'm coming. No, you're not. I'm going to put you right over here with your... Oh, Ooh, sorry. You're so fat. There. Over there with your sister. Y'all can be fat together. <clears throat> I'm going to have to do the basket trick that Reese does. <clears throat> to keep them... Keep them good. <clears throat> Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> Trying to make his way. No. Get your little chunky butt back over there. It's like it's never enough. <sighs> Girl, you thought you were going to get easy this time, didn't you? You thought it was going to be easy. Nope. Oh, no, you didn't, little fat butt. Uh-uh, you did not take. No. You go over there. Mm. Oh, Nirvana. Here. Anyway, so I got to do my due diligence in making sure that these puppies are all getting to eat. So I'm going to be doing a bit of a... Uh... Savannah, give me a clothes hamper. Okay. <clears throat> you know, like a small one. Okay. And put a little towel in it for me. All right, so you can eat from this one because that puppy is just sleeping. So take that one. There you go. This puppy's fat and happy. And you lost your food. All right, just trying to get these babies to nurse. Come on, you were on it. Go back on there. No. These puppies are all sleeping at the... Sleeping at the bar. Here, how about here? How about right here? No, you're fat. You go over there. And you're fat. You go over there. Come here, honey. Come here. There you go. No, don't walk away from the food bar. You, you are... It's right there. Get it, get it, get it right there. Almost. Almost. Here we go. I think you got it. Did you get it? Did you get it? Excellent. Thank you. The old basket trick. Yep, the old basket trick. Oh, God. You're fine, fatty. Jesus. There you go. You stay. Stop. Don't worry about it. And there's your babies. They're right there. They ain't going nowhere. You're fine. Quit. Here. And your babies are fine. Your two greedy brindles are in there. And a feeding timeout. She's like, why? Why? No. You're fine, Nirvana. Psst. It's a trick I learned from Reese. Don't give me that face. It's a way to make sure that everybody gets some. 
<sighs> anyway. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to be on puppy watch and just monitor. Probably catch up on the JD trial from what happened today. <sighs> I really appreciate everybody. I've been, uh, just so you know, if you want to be more informed, join my Patreon. They knew about everything. I let them know when she went to surgery. I let them know how many puppies she had. Not to necessarily be a jerk in the sense of not letting people know, but just because I had so much to do today. My, uh, my blue and gold macaw, I had to take her in, um, for, um to a vet visit because she was losing some weight and so she's got a bunch of blood tests done and stuff um the vet wasn't like super concerned but we are going to try to see if there's a reason why and then um so I, he had to be she uh, she had to be dropped off no anyway <laughs> my birds are they birds they're they birds they had to be taken to um to the vet and then so this morning and then trinity goes off and so then I had to take Trinity to the vet and then we were out of dog food. So I had to go pick up my macaw, run to tractor supply, pick up Trinity and her puppies. Ran, I almost ran out of gas, had to stop and get gas, um, come back home and now we're here. And so it's just, it's not, it's not an issue of like not wanting to tell people. It's just an issue of, I don't have the time. And so the most that I could do was just do a, a a short little post on, on Patreon. So, and I didn't even add pictures, so that's why I couldn't even do Instagram, uh, um, or, you know. So anyway, but so far, you know, so good. Um, everybody's eating. Everybody looks happy. Everybody looks healthy so far. I'm just so fortunate that Nirvana has, like, almost too good of milk production. Like I said, it was kind of a mini blessing because... This tata right here was was really bad, um, and it was really looking like it was going to be a problem, and now it's like completely normal again. Um, so I'm really happy about that. So she needed them in the same way that they needed her, and that's just that's just nice to know. That one's eating, and this one's eating. This one, okay, everybody's eating. Yay! It makes me happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Anyway, I love these babies. I love all my babies. I'm, just, I'm such a sucker. As I told you guys, I always, always, always will take my dogs to the vet. The minute that we realize that it's beyond our scope of ability, we take them in. And that's exactly what we did. The puppies that we lost, unfortunately, there was nothing that could be done. They were never going to come out, and they weren't going to make it by the time we'd gotten to the vet. So... And like I said, I, I firmly believe that one of them was probably already gone. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> Look at the monsters and then the regular monsters. Well, that one is one of hers too. Do you see the size difference? Whew, man, that's the difference between my new lines and my old lines. New lines, old lines. Yeah. So when people are paying more for the Mona stuff, for these litters, that's why they're, that's what you're paying for. It's in perfect view right there. That's what you're paying for. So anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.